morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. This train is inbound from Level 3 dormitories to Sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Well, 
executive who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team. Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. What's some pep in that step, Freeman? You're laden up as it is. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Say hi to Dr. Cross. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you'd gotten to your hazard suit. I don't think my pacemaker can handle any more of this. They need you in the test Agent chamber. Dale, report to sub level 8. Uh, hold. Just... Hold on for one moment. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Gordon, don't touch that. Go use another computer. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans. Oh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Drat. Gordon, I'm busy. Oh, would you look at that? 
Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Well, good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Good morning, Gordon. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Please excuse me, Gordon. You forgot to carry the two, or was it the three? I'd like you to actually show me your degree, Dr. Freeman. Oh, Gordon, that really hurt. <laughs> Got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my... Morning, champ. Hello. Good heavens! What the hell? Fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. But, uh, that was, um, that was you know who's lunch. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Ugh, rat. No toilet paper. Thank heavens! I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. anything you'll just have more to do this is going to have to wait gordon listen i'm only going to explain this to you one more time if you have a question hello this isn't dr cross problem. Yours. easy freeman that's highly unstable can talk at lunch, Gordon. Do you know how long it took me to make that? My God. I never.
Not now, Gordon. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. Any ideas up, on the origin of that new sample? Dr. Freeman. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Oh, come on. Did that honestly seem like a good idea, Gordon? Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes, they're, they're a bit strange to just... Oh, it's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? <sighs> it was never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Beckrell's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha, huh. don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly, but before you do, Activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro channel plates. Dr. Freeman? Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be... 
deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mask spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives.